Hi everyone, welcome to Back to School Night 2020. I am Miss Foster. So I have been teaching at North for 11 years. I'm actually a North grad myself. I also have my bachelor's in history from UCR and I have my master's of arts in teaching from National University. I have two teaching credentials. I have one in social sciences and one in career technical education. I'm also the coordinator for the Education and Human Services Academy at North. So during distance learning, we are meeting with our students three times a week through Google Meets. So we have a live session where they meet with us on Google Meets. We do assignments, we talk about our other assignments, and then they usually have an independent study time afterwards where they're supposed to complete the assignments. And all links for the Google Meets are on Aries or their Google Classroom pages. So all assignments are posted on Google Classroom right now during distance learning. Um, they also turn their assignments in through Google Classroom as well, but their grades are still gonna be on Aries. And if I have announcements, I post that on Google Classroom as well. So since I do have three academy classes and I'm the coordinator for the academy, I just wanna do a little quick blurb about it. Our academy at North, this is the first academy at North. It's the original one. It's a California Partnership Academy. It began in the fall of 1996 under Mrs. Anderson. So we have an emphasis on students that want to go into the careers of education or human services, as well as students that are not sure what they want to do, but they know they need help during school to help prepare them for after graduation, whether it's going to a four-year university, a community college, or training for their career. We help them with that. We offer a lot of interventions and support during school. We do study tours or field trips to enhance learning, not only of colleges that they may want to go to, but of items or places that will enhance the learning environment of the classroom, like the Holocaust Museum when we're talking about World War II. We also have team teachers. So all of our students have those teachers throughout the day so that the teachers know them really well. And then we are able to talk to one another about all those students and help them in any way we can. Our opportunities, we also offer opportunities for certi certifications during high school, including like CPR certification. And then because I'm the coordinator, I have a planning period for it, which is during fifth period. So I have two United States history classes. My first period class is a non-academy class. It's just regular students. <laughs> so we start from Reconstruction where they left off in eighth grade and we go to contemporary America. So basically late 1800s to early 2000s. And students will be using primary sources throughout the year and be able to support their writing with those primary sources as well as using secondary sources. And they do have a quarter district assessment throughout the year as well. So educational psychology, this is a sophomore elective class. I have it second period. So this is a A through G class and it also meets CTE standards. And this focuses mainly on child development. So a big project the students will have during this class is the Real Care Baby Simulation Project where they have the robot babies, where they get to take home and care for it as if it's a real child. Though right now during distance learning, I am looking for an alternative just in case we are not back in the classroom at that time. And then my final class is my fourth period and it's the second level academy class for the juniors. And it's called Intro to Education or a teaching class basically. It's also an A through G class and CTE levels. And we have an internship during this class where we normally are gone two days a week working at a local preschool or elementary classroom where they're working hands-on with students. But right now during virtual, I am working on having them do it virtually, at least at an elementary school. It may only be one day a week. I'm not sure. We're still ironing out all the details. And normally we would have a mentor program, but since we can't do our normal mentor program, we're going to have our mentors give like virtual presentations to our students throughout the year during distance learning. So they can still get that aspect. If you need to contact me, my email is jfoster at riversideunified.org. That is the best way to contact me right now during virtual learning. Have a great night. Thank you so much.